Hi, Allie and Kalia. Thank you so much for your time. I'm Stephanie Strumpluski with NBC Sports Chicago. Um, the first couple questions are open to both of you, and then I have uh, specific questions for each of you. So I'll start off here. Uh, Chicago is a great city. It gives back to its community, especially to its youth sports programs. What do you hope the kids you surprise today take away from events like Sports Matters Day? Um, yeah, I hope that just today they get a little bit inspired just by seeing us, because I know I felt that when I was a kid. Um, just inspired to uh, go play. doesn't have to be basketball, but, you know, just to go be in some kind of team setting. Um, just so many different skills they can learn from it. Confidence, discipline, teamwork, uh, working together. It just makes them feel good about themselves. So I just hope they can feel like that after today. And, um... You know, there's, I'm sure there's a lot of kids various ages that attended to. I wasn't in attendance, obviously. I wish I could go. But, um, you know, I'm sure there's a lot of kids that may get discouraged if they lost a game or they got cut from a middle school or high school team. So what would be either of your advice for, uh, for kids to stay motivated when things aren't particularly going their way? I think that's a part of the journey. Uh, and it, it also makes you stronger. Uh, you have these disappointing moments in your career or in your life. Um, and when you get over it, you, after you hit that adversity, and once you get over it and you get through it and you realize that, wow, I, I could have never made it in, and now I could get through anything. Um, it, teaches you, it, it also teaches you just to have that work ethic and that drive. Um, so I think that, you know, to hit adversity early, um, it, it definitely hurts, but uh, when you're able to overcome it um, and you, you continue to go and you think nothing can stop you after that. And I heard that uh, the legendary Scottie Pippen was in attendance today. Uh, did either of you get to speak with him? Uh, if anyone was going to have any back-to-back -back championship advice, it'd be Scottie. Oh, we should have asked him. We were hanging out with him, yeah, but I didn't think to ask him that. Oh. Oh, no. Maybe he's still here. Maybe I'll go ask yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, bring him back. No, I'm just kidding. Um, did he have any encouraging words uh, when he was hanging out with you, or did he have any encouraging words for the kids? Um, I mean, I just was talking to him a little bit, and I told him I didn't have enough years left to get six in a row, and kind of <laughs> laughed at that, but uh, <laughs> did what he... do you say to the kids? Um, what? Yeah. I don't remember what he was saying to the kids, honestly. We, were, we weren't on the court when he was talking. So, oh, gotcha, gotcha. I, I, I heard the screams when he got announced, so yeah. they were definitely excited to see him. <laughs> um, Allie, did he, did he mention anything about your record for All-Star Weekend? No, he didn't. Oh, man. Oh, we got to get Scotty back in here, guys. All right. All right. So, uh, Allie, you know, this question specifically for you. You've, you've been a vet now with the Sky for a long time. You've seen the ups and downs throughout the years. You've seen players come and go. Why was last year's championship team leading into this year's team so special? What just sort of clicked for you guys? Um, I just think it was kind of like years of us building, building, uh, with Kalia being here for a long time, Steph, me, Courtney. Um, it just felt like we were building something and everything kind of happened at the right time. Um, yeah, we just kind of clicked and kind of figured out how to win together last year, which was just the best feeling ever and something that we're going to try to use this year, um, use that experience we had from the playoffs last year to you know try to do it again. Uh, Kai, I briefly interviewed you after Game 3 of the Finals last year. It was a very quick Zoom interview, um, but you gave me the following quote. You said, I think me winning a championship will speak for itself. And I just really love that quote. There's so much power and truth behind it. Very next day, you guys win Game 4. You win Finals MVP. You also said Coach Wade knew you'd be MVP before anybody else did. Uh, do you feel like you're finally getting the recognition you deserve as a top player in the league, or do you feel like there's still something left in you you need to prove to any doubters out there? Uh, I really don't care to prove anything, honestly. Uh, I think that uh, the work will show. Um, I just ultimately want to get wins. It's, I think the, the personal stuff, really, it comes out when you win. Uh, so I, I'm just like really focus on myself, focus on my team. But, you know, like I said before, you know, one of the championships speaks for itself um, and, and everything else, the personal accolades or whatever, it comes after you win. And it, it's only more, it's more special when you win also. And uh, some, some 
final thoughts here, and then I'll ask one more question uh, for Allie. But some final thoughts. I mean, what's what's it going to take to defend the title? Obviously, last year is a lot different heading into this year, but do you not think that far ahead? I know that the regular season uh, ends here shortly, but do you take it game by game? What's sort of the preparation uh, heading into preseason? Or sorry, postseason. <laughs> Yeah, you just got to be playing your best basketball at that time, and that kind of starts right now. Um, Everything just kind of has to tighten up a little bit. Uh, The room for air is, you know, a little bit smaller. So you just got to do what got you here. We all know what it takes, and it's just time to start kind of doing it and have fun while we're doing it. And, Allie, I got to ask, you know, again, bringing up All-Star Weekend, you break the record at home in front of, I'm sure, so many people, family, friends, and in attendance that have watched you for your whole entire career. I mean, how special was that? Like, can you, do you even have the words to describe that feeling? It was amazing. It just felt like the perfect ending to the three-point championship journey (laughs) to be able to win it at home and to have all my teammates, my family, my friends there. Um, It was just like, just perfect and dream come true yeah that was definitely an incredible moment so congratulations to you and congratulations to you both on uh making uh making the postseason and uh thank you so much for your time and thanks for giving back to the kids today thank you